Hello, everybody. Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks coming to you with another market of mayhem. Make sure you check your in game mail. There are three new towers coming, um, and they're updating the schedule. They're also, there's also some balance changes. So make sure you go in the in game mail, take a look at that. They did say that they're going to be releasing a blog post about those changes in the three new towers. Uh, respectively, you're going to be able to get uh, Sea Devil, Van Wiley, and Egghead Jr. pieces from these towers. So um, I'm looking forward to that and the blog post to see what that's all about. Let's go into the market because, I mean, to be perfectly honest, this will be the 24th Market of Mayhem we've done. And um, I've tried to... Uh, kind of curve some of my angst about some of these offers, and I don't know that that's necessarily correct. So we're going to go through this um, with a modicum of salt. All right. <clears throat> Black tickets. Unless they are for legendary wheels or you can get one hell of a deal for them, like four spins, okay? If this was a... <sighs> If it was a legendary wheel, it'd be great. Otherwise, yuck. Get it out of my face. I don't want to see it. All right. Now, you unlock this by purchasing the two event starter packs. This is event starter pack two. They say, say it's a seven times value. We jump into it. 42 golden tickets. My personal evaluation on golden tickets. About a buck a piece. Buck 14 if you really want to get nitpicky about it. But about a buck a piece. Um... Right now, the gem offers and energy, all of this, is it worth the 30 bucks? Sure. The value's there. It's kind of one of those, I guess, what I would call, because I'm a light spender, uh, a nest egg kind of offer. You buy it for, for something down the road, like the Anubis event coming out. Uh, but we're, it's too high of an offer in my heart to give it a seal of approval. But if you're looking for a deal on golden tickets, 42 30 bucks plus the gems plus the campaign if you're dropping 30 bucks on the game and you're just like hey i'm gonna do it then i guess this is uh all right let's move on black tickets forever and always yuck i'm tired i hate the exchange on these because most of the time it comes out right before um some sort of legendary <coughs> anubis and then, you know, here we are. Let's tempt you with some black tickets that you got to spend all your gold tickets for. I just don't dig it. All right, so here we go. A couple, um, couple of different change-out tunes here for our featured epic, featured rare. We don't have a featured common today. However, uh, let's look kind of closely. 350 Tasmanian she Devil Shards, 750 Energy. Um, I don't like this one. Um, and I'll show you why once we go over to the offers tab. $4.99 for 500 Professor Prissy 750 campaign energy. The only way I would recommend this is if you need energy. It's the best current energy offer in the game. Um, right now with the event that's going on, uh, if you don't have close to a 7-star Professor Prissy, um, then you've probably got her start up enough to where... You know, you're, you're not really getting it for that, but as a bonus, it does count towards the milestones. I took a closer look at these. Um, I'm just going to tell you I hate these. Yeah, well, we're going to give them a yuck, and then I'll go over it. All right, so 1,600 gems, 19.99. 250 compasses does nothing for you. One golden ticket, that's about worth a buck. Hey, we've got about 22 cents. Nah, nah, hey, here, here, I give 40 cents worth of stuff there. And uh, maybe, you know, eh, it's a defender booster. Who knows? Who knows really, right? Um, the reason I don't like this is because the current gem offer in the game, which we'll go look at here in just a second, is actually cheaper than this for this amount of gems. So they're actually upcharging you because they're throwing in a bunch of junk. Yuck. That's right. I'm, I'm a little salty because I'm looking at this every day. Right? And I'm, I'm trying to break these down. Again, this is just as bad, if not worse, because they really just don't even add that much extra stuff. Four bucks. A thousand. Okay, a thousand. You can get some shards with that. Ah, no big deal. Eleven thousand gems. Sure, it's a hundred bucks, guys. 
when we go over to the gym offers, remember, $11,100. We're going to go over there in just a moment. Energy offers. We've already seen that you can not only get energy at a higher quantity, but you can get shards with it that are going to help you towards the milestone. We'll pass. Let's jump into this event tokens, man. They're going to give you some event tokens along with the golden tickets. Check it out. Check it out. Five. That's five bucks right there and 50 compasses. What are we going to use 50 compasses for? Like, I mean, really, let's just be honest with each other. You're not going to use it for anything. All right. Next. All of this stuff. This little stuff here. Five bucks. You're usually going to need one of these for each tune-up level, and this is used right here for Nasty Canasta tune-up levels 21 through 45. You're usually going to need at least one of those, right? So you're telling me, for every tune-up level, you want me to spend a buck and some change. I'm good. Let's go to the offers. All right, so this is why I said that the uh, $9.99 offer in the feature tab was not that great. Okay, we're also going to get super salty here in just a second. Okay, Merlin Sam, 499, 500 freaking shards. Okay, whenever you can get 500 shards for about five bucks, I think that's a go. I, I mean, if you're looking for that character, right? Eh, maybe not everybody's looking for Merlin Sam, though. Okay, Phantom Lee Pew, there's another one, 500 shards, five bucks. Eh, not bad. Here's where my salt lies 999, Raider Lola, 500, and you're like, Tommy. That's a great deal. Okay, I don't know about great, Tommy, but it's pretty good. Yep, here's my problem. We're gonna back all the way out of the market. We're gonna back all the way out of the market. We're gonna go to the Tasmanian tourney here. We're gonna go down the milestones, which I'm blocking with my body a little bit, but we're gonna go to the rules and prizes. Now right here, this is the second event where we've had to, where we've experienced this. Collect Tune Pieces, Legendary Featured Event Tunes. Well, guess what? There's no way to get them in the game, and all of a sudden, with about a day left of this thing, Legendary pops up in the game. 500 shards for $9.99. Um, I'm just hitting the button. It's not even because of the tune. It's because I think it's done on purpose. And I don't really like it. Now, if it's not, then whatever. Maybe it's Uh, Hmm. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. All right, let's do our daily gambling gimmick. A thousand or 175. You get to pick. No, you don't get to pick. You get to throw five bucks at it with a 2% chance of a thousand tune. Besides Matador bugs, I'm good. We'll pass. The rest of this stuff is all horrible. And uh, most of these exchanges aren't worth it until you get into your crest. And then, eh. So, what I said before, remember, 11,000 gems for a hundred bucks. All right. Well, here is 9,000 for 50. I need somebody to explain that to you. Maybe if you can explain that to me, please put it down in the comments down below. I know, guys, I've been a little salty today. I know I've been going over the, the market, and I really want to see some, some good value, not only for me, but for everybody who plays the game. I'm hoping that maybe after today and a couple more of these that we'll start to get to see, hey, you know, what if there's a, what if there's a get a few of these shards for a $1.99 gimmick in there? What if, you know, if you did drop a hundred bucks in one fell swoop on the game, what if you got something for it? Would you like that? <laughs> Let me know that also. And guys, we're going to be going live Friday. We're live five days a week anyway, but Friday when Anubis drops, we're going to be going live at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. And until next time, guys, please stay loony and, uh, We'll catch you down the road.